just got done with the tour. Wait, what's the verdict? Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations. And I just wanted to introduce you guys to this little furball. His name is Jasper, we think. We're not 100%, but I think that's what they're leaning towards. He's got me. He's right here. But today we're going to be going to a cow farm, Sweetwater Valley Farm, and we're going to see some cows and take a tour of the whole farm. Oh my goodness, guys, he got my shoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess that's why you can't leave shoes out. Hiya, buddy. Hiya, buddy. Hi. You're so cute. We made it to the Sweetwater Valley Farm. We know that Sarah's vlogging skills were quite interesting, they so I hope great. you enjoyed it. Yes. Yep. We're going to go on a tour for, I think it's an hour long. Is it an hour? It's an hour long that you get to look at cows mm -hmm. and possibly pet them. We're going to go to the cafe. I think I'm going to get a coffee. And I think it could be fresh milk, too, so we'll have to see. I'll do a little review and everything. And we're just going to walk around for a little bit until our tour time, which starts at 10. flows in there inside the unit is a milk jar and we're gonna hold her entire milk session until she's completely milked. Watching a video now. We, we just saw some robots milking the cows. And also producing lots of delicious cheese. That's her milk. That's what yeah. she gave at that oh session. Gosh. That's a lot of milk. <laughs> okay. So what's gonna happen now is it sprays her, finishes, then it will pump this out. Oh my goodness. It's crazy how much goes into this. Yeah. We just got done with the tour and we're watching the cheese video because they make their own cheeses here and I'll show you guys that too. I've heard there's a tasting so we'll definitely bring you along for that. The free food? Yeah, that's this girl's love language, it food. Is. So you're not allowed to pet the cows or anything because they're in there, but here is a cow. We can pet this cow. We're naming it Clifford. Clifford, the big red cow. The big red cow. Mm -hmm. have a little story for you courtesy of Sarah <clears throat> so the man who gave our tour his name was David would highly recommend mm -hmm. he very knowledgeable very, he did a very good job there is a whole lot that goes into this that you wouldn't even think about like they have it down to an exact science well anyways he's talking about like the special type of feed that they've made specifically for these cows and um, he says so have y'all ever had rabbit and I thought he meant, have you ever eaten rabbit? So I was like, yeah, I have. I looked at her, I was like, when did you get a pet rabbit? And then I was like, oh, you meant pet rabbit. No, no. No, I thought you meant eating a rabbit. He thought it was hilarious. He looked at me and he was like, well, you are a country girl. Yeah. Have you ever had pet rabbit? Yeah, I've eaten it. It's tasty. What else did we learn about the cows? They have four compartments in their stomach. They make yeah. like 46 thousand gallons of milk a day yeah or something like that. that's enough to fill up almost two trucks of milk every single day mm -hmm. which is a lot so I think now we're gonna go to the cheese tasting Sarah's trying elk cheese <laughs> Ooh. 
What, what's the verdict? You like elk cheese? <laughs> I think it's just elk. Oh. It's really good. You want to try it? No. <laughs> cheese. There's the milk truck. Okay. I had got a buttermilk and barbecue sandwich. So. Mm -hmm. And then I got the hashtag all cheese. It has Italian pesto, sharp cheddar, and a bunch of other cheeses. Mm. It's cheesy. It's a good thing because it's a real cheese. Sarah got a chocolate milkshake and I got the cookie butter shake mixed with Biscoff cookies. Mm, that looks so good. I can't get it to come through the mm -hmm. straw. Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna go have a date with this milkshake. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you a little cheese haul because we got farm fresh cheese. It's directly from the cows. They make the cheese right here and then they sell it. So for me, I got the buttermilk cheese and also the sharp yellow cheddar. You can never go wrong with cheddar cheese because I love all things cheddar. And they had that little tasting table that I showed you guys. I think I probably ate half of the tastings there. And then I went back for seconds, thirds, and I think I got a couple of them fourths because I just wasn't sure. And I really, really love cheese. Now I feel so full though, which was kind of a mistake because then I had the milkshake and the grilled cheese sandwich. And Sarah, we'll see what she got. She's a bit more adventurous than I am. So she got the buttermilk cheese. And then remember how she tried the elk? Well, she got elk on a stick. <laughs> I was gonna get an entire sausage, but it was pretty pricey. And then I saw they had a smaller thing, and I was like, "Well, this is probably more reasonable." Yeah, two fifty versus yeah. I think it was like, like thirteen dollars. Yeah, it was thirteen dollars. Yeah, so. yeah. So more college student friendly. She tries elk and squirrel and rabbit. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. My quality footage for me. <laughs> it's already blurry. Blurry. We just drive right on through! <laughs> I slowed down! No, you did! Yes, I did! And I hit the brake. It came up fast! There wasn't a sign! Okay? Yeah, we need signs for railroad cars. Oh, yes. wait, stop! Just stop! Just stop! Sweet water valley farm! Okay! Cornfields or something on the right, but they're all dead because it's winter. We're turning left at the next stop sign, guys. Drive with us. Farm!